NAM flash memory. It's all around us. In here, over here, and even the server storing this very video you are watching right now. But not all flash memory is created equal. Today, we'll break down the different types of flash memory so that when you're shopping for SSDs, USB flash drives, or memory cards, you know exactly what you're paying for. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, welcome to DIY in 5. My name's Trisha Hirschberger, and today we'll be doing a deep dive into SSD technology and NAND flash memory. Its benefits, limitations, how it works, and the different types you'll find when you're looking to upgrade your tech to the sweet new storage standard all around us. If you find the tips in today's video useful, please feel free to like this video, sub to this channel, and ring that bell so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. So just what is NAND flash memory? If you own a Kingston USB flash drive, SD card, or SSD, you already own products using NAND flash memory. Unlike DRAM memory, which must be constantly powered to retain information, flash memory retains data even when the power is off. In the past few years, the cost of NAND flash dropped enough to make SSDs, or solid state drives, common as an upgrade over traditional mechanical hard drives as a primary storage method. This is fantastic for a variety of reasons. SSDs have no moving parts in them like a traditional hard drive would, making them faster, more durable so the data is not destroyed if it's dropped, and consume less energy than a traditional hard drive would, extending battery life, etc. SSDs have two major components in them, a controller, which serves as the processor for the SSD, managing the NAND flash and ensuring that data is spread evenly throughout all the physical blocks of the device, thereby extending that life expectancy I was talking about earlier, and an array of millions of flash memory cells to hold all the data. Now here's where you'll see different types of NAND, like SLC, MLC, etc. And these different types of NAND have different characteristics in terms of performance, cost, and endurance. Let's break it down. SLC, or Single Level Cell NAND, stores one bit of information per cell, either a zero or a one. And as a result, the data can be written and retrieved faster. Not only is SLC NAND the best performance option out there, it's also the highest endurance. It's measured in program erase cycles, or PE cycles, and SLC has about a 100,000 PE cycle rating, so it will last longer than other types of NAND. The downside here is that it's the most expensive type of NAND, and because of that, it's mostly used for industrial applications and servers, and not typically found in consumer products. Then there's MLC, or multi-level cell NAND, which typically refers to two bits of data stored per cell. With a higher density, MLC can be produced in larger capacities and offers a nice combo of price to performance to endurance. MLC has about 10,000 PE cycles and can often be found in consumer products. TLC, or triple level cell NAND, stores three bits per cell, even further reducing cost and increasing capacity, but the trade-off is that it's only got 3,000 PE cycles. Many consumer products will often use TLC as the most affordable option, and it's now the most dominant SSD technology. I should also mention there is QLC NAND as well, storing four bits per cell, and you guessed it, this allows for more affordable, higher capacity storage at a reduced endurance, 1,000 PE cycles. Okay, so we've discussed bits per cell and how higher density storage affects the user experience. Now, let's talk about how those cells are laid out on the drive itself. In traditional 2D NAND, the cells are placed horizontally, side by side, and engineers can be limited by physical space. Rather than making the cells smaller, which could reduce reliability, 3D NAND was developed, stacking cells vertically as well as horizontally, allowing for more storage, better endurance, and lower power consumption. Nowadays, you'll find 3D NAND used together with MLC, TLC, and QLC tech in most higher-end drives to get the ideal combo of endurance capacity and cost. Like the new Kingston Fury Renegade M.2 SSD, using the latest Gen 4x4 NVMe controller and 3D TLC NAND technology to get speeds up to 7,300-7,000 megabytes per second read and write with fantastic consistency in capacities up to 4 terabytes. It's ideal for gaming, high-power users, or hardware enthusiasts looking to get performance and endurance. 
When it comes down to it, NAND flash memory is the bee's knees. It provides fast erase and write times at a lower cost per bit, and especially with the rise of the gaming industry and its ever-increasing demands, we're only going to see this technology evolve. All right, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you next time with more DIY in 5.